They are awesome. They're still the fastest way to get to France and they're still profitable, but the cross-channel hovercraft are for the chop. In this business, competing with the channel tunnel, packing in the cars is the key to maximum profits. The hovercraft just doesn't take enough and it only operates in daylight. The sea cat lurks, waiting to take over on Monday. But those who fly it say the hovercraft has a cult following. Oh, people come from all over the world. Uh, every day, people uh, would just stand here, like uh, watching an aircraft arrive. People stand here watching this great machine coming in. We were to travel on the Princess Anne, which at 22 minutes holds the record for the fastest channel crossing. The bouncing cockpit could be from an old Russian helicopter, and she guzzles gas, almost a ton of it to reach France. Looking out at her propellers, it seemed obvious that the hovercraft was made by the same firm that built the flying boats. As we approached land, a group of French fans were waiting to say adieu. On Sunday, they'll organise a parade of small hovercraft as a final salute.